welcome to day two of being transformed in my spiritual health and our key scripture today is John 1 12 to 13 yet to all who received him to those who believed in his name he gave the right to become children of God children born not of natural descent but of human decision or of a husband's will, but born of God. Isn't it amazing that we received this beautiful gift from God and it doesn't even cost a price because it has been freely given to us. We are God's children. When we believe in Jesus Christ, we are brought near to the Father. So near, in fact, that he calls us his sons and daughters and we are part of his family now. Fully received, fully loved and fully accepted. We don't have to pay a price for it. It's not about good works. It's not about doing something to be accepted. God loves us just the way we are. He receives us. I met a guy a few weeks ago and um, I was ministering to him. And I mentioned to him, do you know Jesus Christ? And he said, yes, I do. And I said to him, well, are you a believer? And he said to me, well, I don't feel like I am because I haven't been to church. And I said to him, but Jesus Christ still loves you. And you are still his son. And he said to me, but even though I haven't been to church and even though I've been sinning and that is the part that we miss because being a daughter or a son of Jesus Christ means that you have a forever father in heaven someone who is dependable strong someone who will never leave or forsake you even when you disappoint him time and time again it's a hard thing we need to come back to the father we need to believe we need to put our hope and our trust in him and we need to know that he doesn't put a price tag on his love for us so what does this mean it means like i said we have that intimate relationship the love relationship with the father we should recognize this cry as well the romans 8 verse 15 says to us the received love does not make you slaves that you live in fear again the received does not make you slaves so that you live in fear again rather the received brought you about your adoption to sonship and by him we cry Abba Father we should recognize this cry of Abba Father we've heard it before on the lips of Jesus as he prayed in the garden of Gethsemane Jesus cried out Abba Father if everything is possible for you Mark 14 36 incredibly we address God as Abba Father just as, De as Jesus does. We talk to Jesus the way that he does. He's granted us full access, Ephesians 2.18. No constraints, no confits, no limitations. We are received. We are accepted. We belong. Do you know what it means to belong to someone? It means that you are part of that family. We share a real relational intimacy, love and the bond that the Father and the Son have known for eternity. God's desire for us is to have an intimate relationship with Him. And that's one of the greatest desires. And that's what makes it so different to other religions, is that we don't have a religion, we have a relationship with the Father. Jesus, the divine Son by nature, has invited you by grace to participate in His love. The love with the father this is how much you have been received family this is how much you belong this is how much your identity is secured God the father has welcomed you into his house in fact as you cry out today Abba father he says back my beloved child the creator of the universe cherishes you and delights in you take a moment today to ponder on that to know that you are not lost and you are not forgotten but you have indeed been accepted and that you are a son of the most high god